What should I do when I wake up at 3 a.m. in the morning or 5 a.m. or 4 a.m.? Is there a perfect time of day for me to meditate? What's the best time of day to move one's bowels? Let's talk about that today. My name is Susan Camille. I am a licensed acupuncturist and clinical herbalist here at the Diami Health Center in Carbondale, Illinois. And this is the second in our uh, seasonal, I'm sorry, not our seasonal workshop series, we already did that, in our Chinese clock series, where we talk about how to utilize different times of the day for the best functioning of different organs and different functions in the body. So let's talk about what we covered last week, which was we talked about the hours from 11 p.m. to 3 a.m., which is a liver and gallbladder time. And um, we talked about why it's so important to actually be resting at that time and how that's the most, uh, most utilized time of rest. So now we're gonna talk about the next four hour series, which is three to 7 a.m. And three to 7 a.m. is the lung large intestine time. So what does that mean? That means that the lungs and the large intestine are most accessible at that time. Those two organs are most accessible. So what does that practically mean? Well, if you're waking up from 3 a.m. to 5 a.m., this is a perfect time to breathe. It's a time when a lot of spiritual traditions use that time to meditate, do chanting, breath work. Um, it's a time of solace and contemplation. Not a lot is going on. Even the birds might not be singing at that time. It's a time when Oftentimes people feel like they can get more things done because they're by themselves. The, the world is not awake yet. So people find that they can do things more alone and in the space, the quiet space, which is why it's great for meditation or breath work or contemplation. So that's one of the things that we're gonna be doing during that time is really utilizing the breath. So if you're one of those people that complains about waking up at 3 a.m. and what do I do with myself? get up. If you've had your sleep from 11 p.m. to 3 a.m., you've had some really good quality sleep and good quality time sleep. So now you can get up at 3 a.m. or 4 or 5, that's the window for the lung time, and um, have some time to yourself before the dawn hits and utilize that time for, again, activating the breath, activating the lungs. So from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. is large intestine time, which is the sister meridian to the lung. And this is a time people often ask when, I'm, when we're doing our intake about their bowels and when they should be moving their bowels. And 5 to 7 a.m. is the ideal time. This is large intestine time. If we think about it, we want to let go of everything from the day before, all that we've taken in, take in all the gems of that day, but release anything that we really don't need that is not of use to us, which is in the form of our bowel movements, and then start the day fresh by 7 a.m. J.R. Worsley, who was the one of the founders of the five element traditional approach to acupuncture in Chinese medicine, used to joke that there should be an enormous universal flush by 7 a.m. every day. So hopefully you'll experience that enormous universal flush by 7 a.m. every day and start your day out feeling emptied and ready for a new approach to the day. Our breath and our bowels are very interrelated. Um, it's all about taking in what is of use to you and releasing what is not. So hopefully this gives you some practical tips around how to actually work with the hours of 3 to 7 a.m. Let us know how it goes. Let us know if you find that time to meditate. And just a reminder, meditation doesn't necessarily mean that everything is quiet and peaceful and you feel tranquil, tranquil and blissed out. It's really about just taking time to be with oneself, which the lung is really about that in spirit. It's, it's a sense of identity. It's a sense of true identity and connection with spirit, with one's greater power and able to connect in and to start our day that way. Each day really sets things on a positive tone, on um, a more upright tone and a sense of true purpose. So hopefully you will find your true purpose and do try these these uh, tips and tricks out, see how they go. 
Um, if you leave a question below or comment, you're uh, specifically a question, if you want to enter a question about any of this, um, your name will automatically be entered into a giveaway at the end of our Chinese clock series in the next few weeks. So we love having interactive engagement um, in this medium and uh, love to hear what, what you're trying out and what you're thinking and if you've had any challenges with this and if the hours of 3 to 7 a.m. have historically been a challenging time for you where it's anything less than peaceful, um, then that might be a good ind indicator as to the functioning of your lungs and your large intestine. So if you wanna know more about any of this, we are still accepting new clients. Um, if you have any questions about Chinese medicine or this type of approach, um, we're more than happy to talk over the phone or through any of the social mediums. Um, and we look forward to connecting with you later.